the next procedure is to turn this taper inside in this thing. What we did is we, we, we got that there angle thing right yonder, and you put that right on that right there to check that taper in there. And if you only have a partial one, or one it was broke, you can do the same thing. Just get it on there as straight as you can and check that angle right there. And it will come out to be somewhere around 76 degrees. And this little Sureline lathe right here is degree friendly, let's say. And what you do to use this thing... to turn that cone, is you take this head off here, get that thing off of there, and then you... You remove this alignment key here, take that out, set it aside, put this back on here, and then tighten this back up just loosely. The angle you set like this. I've got it set on 76 degrees. Actually, I've got it... If you can see the little pointer right there, it's on 77 degrees. And what you what you do is you line that up, the straight edge, with your cross slide. And then you move the head to where that, that is in alignment with the straight edge. Tighten up the head in that position. Tighten it up good. Now, let's recheck the alignment. You put this against the cross slide, come over like that, and that's pretty good. Let's go with that. No need to be fooling around with this right here. Just get her done. The, I did, uh, uh, the, I, I did, I'm going to use a spacer in there, and it's turned a little bit smaller than the outside diameter of these interiors so that I will have some I want to tighten that up so you put that right up in there like that and <clears throat> tighten her up oh we got to have a tool bit and I'm using that there rocker tool post and and I done already I ground that offset, got a lot of undercut, I mean it's a special purpose bit, uh, quarter inch square, and I, I, well I ground it especially for this, and you position, line that screw, bring that over like that, and, and on this tool bit right here, to set that up right there, I want it to be kind of somewhere in the middle of the cross slide. And I want it to be... Now, this is kind of where a little experience, uh, you know, comes into play. But I want it to be kind of offset where nothing don't hit anything. And I'm going to say about right there, let's just tighten that up. I, you know, I think that's about right. So let's let's just make a pass through there and see what we got. Now, depth of cut. That's going to be the question is, how do you know uh, depth of cut? And that will be, I'll show you something. Just kind of pay attention. Uh, it's it's sometimes it's easier to show than it is to you know write something down. You know if you just see how it's done, and you're gonna say, well, how 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 do you know when to stop? Well, I'm assuming that the angle is correct, and I'm only going in a little bit past the depth of uh, the, 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 the thickness of that collar, that venterior, I'm only going in past that. And, okay, 
Now let me show you just what I just done. This one right here, that this is a that's a broken one that was out of another one. Okay, with, with this example, but let's say I didn't have that. The, the, the what I want that is the inside, the big hole, the thicker part to be the same size as that in yonder, and then the smaller part will be the same size of that in there. So that's that will give me how thick this edge right here should be this this uh the small edge right there and you can just do that by eyesight you know if you don't have one that's all you got to go on so i think that's a little bit that's a little bit uh thick you know just looking at that and then looking at this it's a little bit thick so let's uh that right there was uh that was a pretty good deep pass now you know, if you have to measure something, then, you know, by all means, measure it. Uh, how thick that's, that is right there. And it's about a, uh, I'm going to say that's about a sixteenth. So, let's, let's, let's take it out and look at it. You know, you don't want to go too far. Uh, by all means, don't, don't, uh, don't ruin one. Uh, there it is. Uh, we got her done. You see that it's a pretty nice finish inside yonder. Okay, now 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 the way you would confirm you you can you, do you see what I'm doing now? Let's do it again. The small hole in here and the small hole in this right here, that should be a smooth transition to going from here to there. And if it's not, you can take a round file and kind of uh, match it up and put a mark out here to where it'll always go back to the same place because some of these are not casted correctly. And the same way on the top, uh, it's really hard to get in there, so you just pretty much what you got to live with what you got. But that one goes up there like that. Oh, that's pretty good. I can see down in there. And then this one would go on here and. Uh, you know, we got her done. We got her done. We got her in there. And don't forget, this right here is a really good place to use some of that gasola sealer around this right here, you know, just to keep from air getting by it. Okay, let's let's do some more then. Take that out of there. And get them chips out of there. Don't let a chip stand in your way. Put your... You put the spacer back in there. Put the collar in there. And tighten her up. This is another one of those projects that takes longer to tell how to do it than it does to do it. Another one done.